Hey guys, Nullified here once again. I'm going to see if I can explain transversal velocity as best I can. Uh, I do have some friends that don't quite understand how useful it is in combat situations, or what it actually is, so I'll, I'll do my best. Um, uh, to start out with velocity itself, rather than just being a speed, it's actually uh, direction and speed. Uh, so if I'm moving in, at 30 meters per second in one direction, and another ship is moving at 30 meters a second in another direction, we actually have different velocities, uh, just because of the direction component to it. Now, transversal velocity uh, is actually it's comparing two different velocities to each other. So <clears throat> it's actually it's really the difference between the two in terms of both speed and direction. So since I'm stopped right now, and these two guys are also stopped, we have zero velocity as well as zero transversal velocity. So if I look out the window of my ship at this guy, uh, we're obviously not moving, and we're also not moving with respect to each other. Now, on the contrary, if I were to start moving in any direction at any speed, you see, you notice that I do have to move my camera to actually keep him in the frame at the same position. And as I move further away, and as he gets further and further out of frame, I have to move my camera less and less to keep him in frame. That's a good good example of what transversal velocity actually is. Now, since I actually had a speed and direction, and he did not, that means our my transversal went up with respect to uh, to his our, our two velocities. My my velocity changed with respect to his, which meant our transversal velocity went up. Now, if we were to keep the same heading, the same uh, direction and speed, uh, then we would have zero transversal because. You know, despite the fact that we were moving, I would be able to look out my window and see his ship regardless, and uh, I wouldn't have to move my camera at all to keep him within frame. So this comes into play when we're talking about uh, turrets, in particular because turrets actually have a tracking speed. So let me pull up, uh, let's see, 120 millimeter. Oops, maybe a 280. Let's pull up this guy. This is an artillery cannon, and it has actually artilleries typically have slower fire rates and slower tracking as well, higher damage though. Now, if we look at the tracking speed, we'll notice that it's in radians per second, 0 0.066 radians per second. So I can track up to 0 0.066 radians per second in terms of movement up and down, or in any direction really. Now. <clears throat> That doesn't really translate into transversal very well, but it's a good indicator. Uh, transversal is a good indicator of whether or not you'll be able to hit your target successfully. Because the higher your transversal goes, that means it's harder for your, your turrets to track because they, they have to move more in order to keep your ship within frame, your target ship within frame, in order to hit it successfully. So the lower your transversal is, the, uh, the better chance you have of actually hitting your target. Now notice that he actually started moving, so I'm starting to follow him. He's going uh, a little bit faster than I am. I'm going about... I'll actually boost my my speed here. And I'll approach him. <clears throat> now he just changed again, but you'll notice over here my transversal is changing with respect to uh, our relative's movements. And you notice that it just went up to 400 meters per second as we were going in opposite directions. And now if I, I'll try to go in the same direction he is with the same speed, or at least the best I can. And you'll notice that over here my transversal is actually going down as I uh, get closer and closer to his speed and direction. And that's actually what we want if we're dealing with turrets. Um, I'm not sure how it comes into effect with missiles. I, I'm pretty sure it's about the same, even though uh, missiles don't really have to track like turrets do. But, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, that's, that's the rough idea of tr what transversal is, uh, and I, I like to keep it in my, my overview so I can have a good estimate of whether or not I'll be able to hit my target, and if I'm moving around uh, with respect to like a, a smaller target or something, uh, I can adjust my, my heading accordingly so that I might be able to hit it better. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions or anything, uh, feel free to let me know or post them, and uh, thanks for watching.